What's up everyone, Nikos here with Premier Guitar at Pova Studios, Athens, Greece and today we'll be looking at an easy way to change nylon strings on your classical guitar. Before we begin, please take a moment to subscribe to Premier Guitar so that you stay up to date with all our latest videos. We should start by mentioning that not all classical guitars are the same when it comes to the way the strings are attached to the bridge, since you might find some with 6, 9 or even 12 holes on it. Also keep in mind that there's not just one correct way to do this. Today we'll be showing you a very simple way to change nylon strings on a classical guitar with six holes on the bridge, which you're most likely to encounter. We'll be stringing the guitar with a fresh set of Normal Tension Diadario Pro Arte EJ47 nylons. To make this process faster and easier, we'll be using a set of wire clippers, a string winder and a headstand to keep the guitar steady and secure on our bench. For this type of guitar, I recommend changing one string at a time unless you want to condition your fretboard so that you avoid any large changes in tension on the neck. Let's begin! First, we need to get rid of the old string. So we're going to loosen up the tension and then we're going to cut the old string off with our wire clippers. Then we'll detach the string from the bridge by simply pulling up the tie and pulling the remaining part of the string through its windings. We'll use the same method to detach the remaining strings from the top of the guitar. Then we must attach one end of the string to the bridge. We'll do that by taking it over the nut and through the hole of the tie block. Once part of the string is through the tie block, we want to start creating our loops. We'll take the string end over the tie hole and under the string and then under the string again to create our first loop. For extra safety and to keep the string from slipping, we'll create one more loop by going under the string one more time and make sure that the crossing of the string parts is placed at the back of the tie block. We'll continue by attaching the other end of the string to the string roller on the top of the guitar. We'll bring the string from the top through the hole of the roller and then take the extra string part over, then under, and then through the string to create a nice steady tie. Now it's time to start winding. For the sixth string, it's important for the windings to be coming to the outside part of the roller. Then we're going to bring the string up to pitch, and cut the extra string parts off from the bottom and top of the guitar. The process for the other two bass strings is exactly the same up to the part where we attach the string to the tuning peg or roller. There the only difference is that the winding should be coming to the inside part of the roller to avoid any crossing of the strings. After having changed the other two bass strings, it's time to move to the three treble strings. Starting with the first string, the basic difference when attaching it to the bridge is that after taking the string through the hole of the tie block, we will feed it through the same hole one more time since this will help eliminate the possibility of it slipping. After that, we'll take it over and under two times and again make sure that the crossing of the string parts is placed at the back of the tie block. Moving over to the tuning peg, we will repeat the process like the sixth string by going over, under and then through the loop to create a tie. For the first string, the windings should also be going to the outside part of the roller to avoid any crossings. Again, the process for the other two treble strings is the same, apart from the fact that the windings on the tuning peg should be going to the inside part of the roller. After having changed and tuned all the strings on the guitar, it's time to cut off the extra string parts and start playing. Well, that's all for now on how to change strings on a classical guitar, and always keep in mind that this is just one of many correct ways to do this. 
Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Take care.